Hello YouTube fans. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make beans porridge in a very simple easy way. First of all you boil your chicken. That's how I do mine. I start with the chicken first. Yeah the water is a bit uh, much because it's not just chicken um, that I'm making. I'm making beans porridge and I need the stock to come out well from the chicken. So I put them in the pot and then I add my seasoning in. You can add whatever you want to add. Um, I'm adding my ginger, making it the way to my taste. Adding a few of the secret ingredients as everybody says it. <laughs> yeah, um, adding a few things to make it a bit spicy. If it's a bit spicy with this weather, it makes it easier to enjoy. Put a little bit of my liquid maggi you can put the liquid maggi you can put the cubes after like 15 minutes see it's boiling and mm, yeah then you can turn it a bit so that all the seasoning goes in and i'm adding my beans into the chicken because that's how i want to make it some people keep the chicken aside but i want it to be soft like actually like dissolving that's why i'm adding the beans now to cook the chicken right through the whole thing turn it a bit and give it some time to cook see there you have it oh smells so nice Oh, I love this. I've not eaten beans porridge for a while. So this is going to be great. You can add your paste, tomato paste. If you like, you can add the fresh one, blended um, tomatoes with onions um, and everything you want in. But I'm just doing adding the tomato paste with my little bit of vegetable oil. You can use whichever oil you want. Some people use palm oil, but I'm using the veg oil at this time because um, palm oil is not suitable for me. So there you go, I add a bit of paprika. I'm going to be putting the all the ingredients on the screen so that you know what exactly to get. I'm adding my crayfish. Some people don't like the smell of crayfish, but I'm adding crayfish to it because it gives it a good taste. It gives it that taste you're looking for and reminds you of home. Oh my God. Can't wait. I seriously can't wait for my food to be done. Give it a little twit. Stir it a bit there and give it the stir. And you can see that the chicken is not so soft that it's pulling apart. It's for like falling apart. Ooh, yeah, that's how I want this to be. See, even the beans is cooked to perfection, just the way I want it. Yeah, give it a stir. I do that so that everything blends together and mix together, and a bit of the chicken should be falling apart. yeah once that is done you can allow it to cook for a while just like maybe another 10 minutes and then you can dish it and you can enjoy it either with plantain with palm wine see there you go i hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it please subscribe thank you